from Washington, Pennsylvania. His dad, Dave, was a quarterback at Bowling Green, and UConn's very high on Endress. He is in a battle for the backup spot with Zach Fraser, a transfer from Notre Dame. Handoff Fry for his first collegiate touchdown. So Robbie Fry becomes the first UConn player not named Donald Brown to score tonight. And the Huskies have an opportunity if they make the extra point to extend the lead to 35 to 3. Jim, how would you assess the performance by uh, Tyler Lorenzen tonight? A little, uh, somewhat of a mixture. Well, first of all, he directed the attack pretty well, uh, getting them down run here. Robbie Fry's first career touchdown, 11-27 remaining. It's been all UConn on opening night. There's a look at the coach's trophy presented by Dr. Pepper. The trophy's been on a season-long tour. It's been stopping at key games every week. It'll be awarded to the winner of the 2011 Tostitos BCS National Championship game right here in Glendale on January 10th. The trophy was created back in 1986. Not easy to hoist. It weighs about 45 pounds. That crystal football itself is about eight pounds. I always worry about that football falling and breaking. Well, that's a good place to put it right now, right next to the field. Yeah, there. somebody can run it over. <laughs> Tress Way kicks off again. Two touchdowns in a minute and 11 seconds for Oklahoma. Robbie Fry. He has speed. Robbie Fry breaks free. Only one man has a chance, and they will not catch him. 95 yards. Touchdown, Connecticut. Well, the former Lehigh Indian used all that Lehigh Valley Conference speed. Nobody caught him. That guy can run. He's a straight line speed guy, and he showed every ounce of it there. We well, mentioned one of the strengths of this Connecticut team. Kickoff returns. Williams has returned two for scores this year. Now Fry has brought one back. He had a key kickoff return at the very end of that South Florida game in the regular season finale to set up the game winning field goal by Dave Tegger to just kick the extra point. Well, this is typical of UConn. They will scratch and claw in every way all the way to the end. There's a look at it from our DirecTV Ultimate Picture Cam. All right, just a nice move on Rondell Lewis to the inside, and then he just got on that left sideline and just used his speed. And you can see he's just dis distancing himself from everybody. Run through a couple tackles. Now he's 210 pounds, has very good speed. And then after he picked up, yeah, because Pittsburgh obviously is a legit big time football program. Elegana. Fry at the goal line. Fry. 40. Fry. 50. Robbie Fry just shy. No. He got it. What a great effort by Robbie Fry. Devin McCourty. Who returned the opening kickoff 98 yards had the last shot at him and I thought that he really had him. sprung Fry into the end zone and you can see that UConn sideline getting excited about it. Bobby Fry came in averaging 25.4 number three in the Big East behind Cameron Sadler of Pittsburgh and Marty Gilliard of Cincinnati. Averaging 75 yards per kickoff return this afternoon and it was Jordan Todman the running back. It's under further review. It was uh -oh. Jordan Todman that gets the block that springs Robbie Fry. Now the the officials are going to see if he was in the end zone or not if that knee touched before the goal line. But what an effort by Fry. A week ago at West Virginia Fry returned a kick. Let's see if we can see it Mike. It looks like that ball just gets over. Oh. I think that's a touchdown. Oh. There's no doubt about it. That knee never touched. Well, the decision lies in the hands of Noel Turner now, the replay official up in the booth. <laughs> he will make the call. Indisputable video evidence. That's what they're looking for to overturn it. That's a, yeah, that's a great it. effort. I don't think that left knee ever touched the ground. That looked like six points. It, it was close, but all he has to do is just touch that white line or cross it. Yeah, you're right, John. 
Robbie Fry 100 yards. UConn's the last kick return for a touchdown. It was uh, Tyvon Branch back in 2007. He went 97 yards against the Scarlet Knights of Rutgers. Boy, and you have to credit the the effort on on that special teams. The big block by Jordan Todd. the review, the rolling on the field stands. Touchdown. I'll tell you this, John. Noel Turner's two for two up in the booth today. Yeah, and they, they were both pretty clear cut. I I thought the catch by Brown for for Rutgers was a clean catch, and Robbie Fry getting congratulations and hugs on the sidelines with his hundred yard touchdown. Kick. It's 14 10. Another look, John. Yeah, Robbie Fry does an excellent job of getting the initial wall. You're going to see that wall of blockers right there. They seal everybody off, and then Jordan Totman, he's hustling down. He gets the block on the kicker, and then all Fry has to do is outrun McCourty to the corner of the end zone. A stiff arm at the 10 yard line really gets him into the end zone right there. Just a nice job of keeping some separation inside the five yard line and reaching that football over. And just great speed shown by Robbie Fry there and determination inside the five yard line. He would not be denied. And Devin McCourty had the angle. Looked like he had a little more speed, but I thought maybe he uh, misjudged Robbie Fry's speed as well.